I think the first time I saw the, the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, was when I moved here to Edmonton. I was actually leading an Edmonton Symphony concert one night, and I looked up, and there they were, totally unannounced and unexpected. And it was a surprise, and I was in, in awe. I remember just sort of standing there in the parking lot, just looking up, and I stayed there for a very long time uh, because it was a spectacular show. It was unlike anything I had ever seen. It was real, it was natural, and it was glorious. One of the things that struck me about the Northern Lights was uh, the fact that there were these streams of light that seemed to twist and bend in the sky. and They, they looked like drapes, like curtains of light, and they would be twisting and, and very busy and then uh, very bright and then suddenly thin out and disappear and only to reappear in a different part of the sky. And so when it came time to, to write the orchestra piece, I wanted to have a, an audio equivalent of, of what I was seeing. And uh, I think the, the big issue there was, was bending light and how do you bend music? Well, there's a lot of instruments in the orchestra that can do this quite well. And, and right in the front, you have the strings and they're the ones who can do this effect uh, very well on their, on their instruments, on the violins and the violas and the cellos and the double basses. So uh, I chose to concentrate uh, on those instruments for this effect and in fact the piece begins with, with uh, this effect with the strings and they, they play one chord and then gradually the, the, they start to bend their pitch and they transform from that one chord into an entirely different chord and, and to me that, that was like the lights. They would be in one shape and then suddenly gradually they would transform form and become a totally different shape in the sky. I, I wasn't really concerned about very uh, aligned, strict rhythm like we have in Frenergy. This, to me, was the opposite. This was free because the lights, there's, there's nothing really strict about them when you're looking at them. They're, they're there, they're free form, they come, they go. And uh, I didn't really want to be bound exclusively by rhythm through this piece. I think that the last minute and a half of the piece, I think, is, is one of my favorite moments in the work. It, it's just, it suddenly becomes quite ghostly and ethereal and spooky and magical. I, I really find that that last moment for me and with the French horn solo, it just, it's something there that, that's kind of magical that, that I found worked really well and um, really expressed how I felt about the lights and, and the impression that they left on me.